Even if you don't know anything about the modification of Android app, by watching this video, I can assure you that you can be able to start from somewhere. Hey everyone, so welcome now. to ArcHQ channel. In this video, I will show you how to download the original version of the MT Manager Android 2. I'm also going to run you through simple process of using the MT Manager app to modify any Android app. But if you haven't subscribed to this channel yet, you might want to do that right now. Hit the subscribe button below. Also turn on the notification bell so you can get notified anytime we upload new video on this channel. So now as you can see, I already have the MT Manager app installed on my phone. So now I'm going to uninstall the MT Manager I have installed on my phone and now restart the process by downloading and installing it. Even if you don't know anything about the modification of Android app, by watching this video, I can assure you that you can be able to start from somewhere. So now I'm going to uninstall this app now which is my empty manager here it is okay i'm going to head over to my browser and i'm going to go to downloads so i can also delete the files here Lit. so now i've completely deleted my empty manager so now i'm going to click on download here and here it is proceed and install the app Empty manager has been installed. So now go to your phone menu, search for empty manager. And click OK. Enable this permission. The first thing you need to do is um, create an account. To do that, come to the menu at the top left corner and then click on the um, purchase vip and then if you already have an account you can log in directly if you don't have the empty manager account click on register right here and now enter your username password and email address to register but i already have an account so i won't be needing to register afresh so i'll just log in so now you can see the plan i'm currently on I'm not on a VIP plan because I can still make use of the free plan to modify any Android app. So now after logging in, to modify any Android app, come to the top left corner of the page, go to Extract APK as you all know, and now from the list of all your apps, select anyone you would like to modify. For this particular app, this Forex Hero, I'm still trying to um, crack the app but I'm still on it. So let's say I'm trying to modify this Forex Hero app. I'm going to select it. After selecting your app, you need to click on Extract APK. After that, you need to click on Locate. The first one is the one we just extracted. After extracting the APK, you select the app again. You have the function, the view, or you can install the app from the Empty Manager. Check Function. You can use it to sign any APK, clone your APK app, optimize your APK with the empty manager, DEX redivision, DEX anti-confusion, decrypt DEX strings, kill signature verification of any app. Those are the options we have under the function. Let's go back. And now let's say you are clicking on the view to view the source code of the Android app. Let's click on view. And here you have the source file of the app. So here we have the android.manifest xml, the classes.dex and the resources.arsc. These are the three files you need when you are trying to modify anything concerning in-app purchases or subscription or login in your app. So now go to the resources.arsc file first. To proceed to the next page, you can use two options, the ARSC Editor Plus or the ARSC Editor. And here, the ARSC Editor Plus might not work on a free plan. You need to purchase VIP plan to use the ARSC Editor Plus, but you can still use the ARSC Editor and the free plan. So now we have the string pool, the search resource value, the search by ID. We have this last line here. So what we normally do on this page is save us some stress to be able to locate the line where we have the subscription or the VIP plan in any particular app. In some apps, we do have the um, line somewhere around this um, last line here. 
scroll down and look for your string here you can see the string click on it and you click on it again click on the three dotted line at the top and now click on filter let's see if we have the um, command on this so we don't have that go back there access we don't have that there also VIP Pro Project ID No, that's not what we're looking for Maybe your subscription Let me try subscription or in a purchase Okay, purchases Purchase Yeah Subscription Subscription don't have that so now go back come to the search by resource value by pro Facebook profile no that's not what we're looking for access no we can so if you can't find the purchase string or the um, subscription ID in the resources.arc file that doesn't mean you can't modify your app or remove the subscription so now if you can't find it what you need to do is just go to your classes.dex and now the dex editor plus is going to work on the classes.dex file now click it you need to come to this start a new search There are a lot of um, results before you change anything on these particular lines i will advise you to back your app up so if things go wrong you can uninstall and then install the original version of the app and then start the process all over again so now let's begin with the first result here and here you can see um billing clients so we we'll start down by changing this line 11 as you can see we have the const slash 4 v10 and change that to v0 yeah we have, we have the ox2 change that to ox1 and now save your file save successfully so now you need to go back and then click the armor symbol at the top of the page to save the file go back select the auto sign make sure it is marked and now click ok to update your classes.dex click close and now go back select the two dotted line on top to go back and now you can head over to your menu to uninstall the original version and then go back to your empty manager to install the modified version click on install it is install without scanning open So now that's so the reason why I ask you to back your app up before making any changes. The app is actually crashing right now. If you encounter this kind of problem, what you need to do is just uninstall the app you just installed and then install the original version of the app you've backed up earlier. So now that's how you're going to repeat the process. So after installing the original version of the app, come to your empty manager folder, the empty to then delete the files you've made changes to delete so you can um, start the process all over again and now here we have the android dot manifest so to proceed with the uh, modification you can check other videos on this channel that will guide you through different methods and this particular app i'm going to try to crack and uh, remove the purchase in this particular app and when i do so I'm going to drop the video on this channel. So here we have the Android manifest.xml file. So here select the string pool. So here we have different options. You can also remove the subscription of some particular app. I think I drop a video 
of that on this channel you can check out for the video so the mt manager has a lot of uh, options for android modification you can change the name of your app using the mt manager you can make make a whole lot of changes to your app using the mt manager so i'm going to drop more tutorial on how to use the mt manager on this channel subscribe to this channel also turn on your notification bell most importantly so you can get notified as soon as we upload new videos on this channel thank you for watching this video see you in our next video